Wow, that's a decent sized fish there. Let's see. Oh, 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 got one. Yes. Oh, he came off. Damn. Hey guys, what's going on? I had the itch to fish the other day, so I made it out to the Crooked River and Prineville Reservoir and did some fishing. I also tied my first fly and had a lot of interest by the fish for it. I had a lot of bites and a lot of hooks, and then I lost a few. Um, I did end up catching a fish. I'll throw some clips in there. And then I also went up to Prineville Reservoir and tried to catch some of those big lake trout that are up there. So I'm gonna show you a couple of the methods I use and a couple of the flies I use. Um, including some of the streamers I was using up at the lake. So check this out. Anytime you go out to the Crooked River, you wanna bring a lot of really small flies, like size 18 and smaller. I was using, of course, the little nymph that I had just tied, and I'll show you how I tied that. So what I did when I was out on the Crooked River, and I, I do this quite often when I go out there and it seems to work pretty well, is I'll use a small dry fly, this little ant with a little parachute on top, and I'll use him as a indicator and I'll tie a dropper onto the eye of the hook. And the dropper length, is, you know, you can use different lengths kind of depending upon how deep you want to go. but. I don't like to take it too far away from the dry fly because I want the dry fly to catch their attention and for them to actually go and bite my nymph. Uh, I usually use a 4x leader and then I'll usually use 5x from my indicator fly down to the nymph. And so I'm using 5x here. The camera can hardly pick it up. It's about 14 inches down is what I did that day to the little nymph that I just tied. And this is a size 20 hook. And I had a lot of interest in this nymph actually. I'll show you in the video, I had lots of bites. Um, maybe I was just pulling the hook out of their mouth, but it took me a little bit of effort and I finally got one and it turned out pretty good. Some of the other flies I'll use when I'm out on the Crooked River are these really small midges. I have a red and a black. Uh, I believe their hook size is like a 22 or a 24. They're really small, really basic. And typically out on the Crooked River, you're only gonna be catching small fish anyway. Um, but I've heard of people catching some pretty big fish on even just the smallest of flies. When it comes to dry flies out there, a lot of times I'll use this little guy uh, with a lot of success. It's just a little dry fly with a little parachute on top. Um, really love this one. Works really good. You'll see they're really small. There's a dime for size comparison. I was in a hurry to get out the door to go fishing and thought, you know, I should just try tying a fly with what I've got. So I used a size 20 hook and a small 332nd bead head and thought I would try to make something look like something that a fish would eat. I used some wild turkey feather that I had available. and some real fine copper wire. And a little bit of hair's ear dubbing. I used a little bit more of the wild turkey feather that I had to build up the abdomen on the nymph and also give it some little wings.
In the video clips coming up, you'll see a lot of fish biting on this nymph. I never changed out my flies. I kept with the ant on top and this nymph that I tied up on the bottom. And I'm just using floating line on my nine foot five weight fly rod. Trying to see if I can get this guy in the middle. He's just right here. It's probably a little too close to me. I do so much better with dry flies. That could have been a bite. Nibble. Oh, 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 got him. Oh. I'm going to go for him. That guy that just ate. That's a good spot. Let me see if I can let it drift. Come on. Oh, that was a bite. Oh, oh. He had a good tug, he was almost all the way on. Man, this is unbelievable. I just need to go to a smaller hook. Bink, here we go. I think something just tried to bite it. I could see them do something, some sort of a weird movement in the water. Come on, baby. Oh, 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 man, that was another good one. He was on it, just not fully hooked. Might try going just a little farther out this next time. There's a couple of rocks under the water there. I think that they're hiding behind. It's just a gentle drift by it, but I feel like if I'm too far in, maybe there's not enough drift for some of the bigger fish. Gosh, these little guys are eating it like crazy. They're not swallowing it. Multiple, I can see multiple fish. Nice. It's right where that fish just ate. Come on, somebody. Let's see if I can get those little guys, one of them, to actually latch on. My hook must be a little too big for him. There, I think I saw one going for it. There's one, there's one. Come on, come on, come on. Yeah, they're trying. Come on. They're trying, they're tugging on the end of it. That's promising. They're biting at it. I can see him. Oh, oh, oh. He was on, but he came off. Let's keep trying. I just tangled up my whole tippet. Gosh, damn it. It's like I'm trying to do some weird casts because I can't get over there right now. I don't have waders, plus it's a little deeper. So they seem to be eating at the one I tied, which is pretty sweet. It's the first fly I have ever tied myself. I thought it looked okay. So I'm going with it. All right. Looks like we're back in business. Oh, another bite. They're just little guys. Oh, 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 here we go. 
Here we go. I'm not going to pull too hard this time. All right, here we go. So I got him on my nymph. That is awesome. Got him. All right. Get your hand wet first, a little easier on him. He's just a little guy. Here we are. Got him on the nymph. I just tied the first one I've ever tied. Let's get you unhooked, buddy. Thanks for making my day. Beautiful. Here we go. That was awesome. Tied that this morning. First fly I've ever tied. Got the little guy. Little ra wild rainbow. All right, I'm ready to move on to a different spot. Get some water, some coffee. In case you didn't know, just above where the Crooked River starts at the mouth of the dam is Prineville Reservoir. And there's some really big lake trout in there. Uh, typically probably 20 inch plus. I've come really close to catching a few of them. And if I go up there with my fly rod, I'm using a 3X leader. And then I'm using a couple of these articulated streamers. They seem to really like the dark green. I kind of wonder if it's because there's so many uh, smallmouth bass up there that kind of have a green color to them. And I think that they eat a lot of them. The only fish interaction I had at the lake that day was right here as I'm bringing in the streamer. And you can't see it on the video, but I could see the whole body of a trout follow in my streamer and then turn away right at the last minute, right in front of me. And my heart just kind of gave out for a second because he was huge. shadow of a fish. I just saw a fish. A big fish. Look at it. I've got a bonus clip right here at the end. This is when I was out at about the same spot just using my spinning rod with a green spinner and I actually hooked onto a really big rainbow trout and I'll try and show you some still shots of how big he is but as I went to net him the line snapped off and he got away. Fish on, fish on, fish on, fish on guys. Just cast out a, a little spinner. Damn, hell yeah. Oh, hell yeah. Oh my gosh, he's a fighter. Is that a red band or what? Oh my gosh, oh my gosh. Oh. oh my gosh, I'm using too light a line. He just swam away, gosh. Please take a second and hit that subscribe button, you guys. I'm gonna continue to upload more material. It takes quite a bit of time to edit, but I hope that you're enjoying my videos. Thanks.